ओके सो लेट मी क्रिएट न्यू फाइल कॉल्ड एज लूप्स डॉट जे एस वॉट काइंड ऑफ लूप्स अवेलेबल विथ यू ओके सी नाउ फॉर लेट आई इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो आई इज लेस देन हंड्रेड एंड यू कैन से आई प्लस प्लस all the variations of the for are as it is available dot log and you can say value of i value of i is you can say dollar i right one version of for we have seen now if you run the code here node loops dot js can you see you would be getting typical output value of this is something like this while loop is also available while right and here you can define let cnt is equals to 0 <coughs> and while you can say cnt is greater than oh, sorry less than 100 right cnt plus plus right operator this is we have used increment operator right or straight away write a console dot log post increment operator and i can say counter is dollar and here you can say plus plus c and t pre increment we did there are two types of increments pre increment and the post increment right let's try to execute this code clear out the console see you reach to the counter right from this to this simple right even do while is available right that's as it is while related to while in the while what happens first condition is going to be checked yes. but there are some situations first iteration need to be there and then condition in such cases you are going to use do while right but that can that can be done by means of while true or loop also right fine now another i have one array mobs is equals to right you can say array i'm defining the array how to define array something like this you can define the arrays something like this and into the mobs mobs dot what you can say push android right i'm going to say apple right then i'm going to say bb then you can have what you can say palm like this some mostly used phones i have written over here now i want to iterate over this array i would like to iterate over this array remember that push is a function that will help you to push some data on the array right so this is the one way this this is a dynamic array typically right you can have static array as well you can have let what you can say nums numbers is equals to an array of 10 12 56 sorry 89 75 you can say 50 52 20 like this this is static array this is what dynamic array static and the dynamic now if you want to iterate over this how do you iterate for how do you iterate for let i is equals to 0 i is less than 
nums dot length and i plus plus like this right and after that what you would be doing console dot log and what console dot log and what and you can say number is dollar i please don't write the code never write the code i am going to push all the codes to this repository all the codes would be available here right your codes you can check this code anytime you don't need to worry about the code see i'll show you you can say just for your your understanding i'm telling you all the codes are going to come on this repository i, I would be pushing the code you can say js fundamentals or say js brush up js brush up would be commit say okay and then you can say push okay so you will find all the codes over here you will get all the recordings after the session right see this so all code is with you on the mobile you can check it anytime if you are working somewhere you can check at the same time so we are working with the loops this is what i have printed so you will get all these things you don't need to worry about this okay <clears throat> now this is the loops es6 and some looping or you can say iterating over the loops like this you need to know this is a brush up what's that this is a brush up remember that not in detail sessions all these are related to brush ups right so loops and arrays so name would be loops and arrays dot js so we have seen a little bit arrays we have seen a little bit loops right then what what i would like to show is that objects javascript objects now see objects dot js only objects we are going to see now you can define the object in the js right something like this let you can say cls cls or you can say car is equals to curly braces i am saying what curly braces so this object contains key value pairs key value key value key value now if you can say key that key would be something like this and you can say car brand right you can say audi here right color you can say red right you can say price you can say 7 million something like this even you can have some functions also right or you can say calc insurance sorry is a key and to that key you can pass the lambda lambda is nothing but what the function console dot log calc inc you remember that this is a function representation is different this is a function right representation is different this is a lambda kind of thing right so here you can do console.log right so i can say brand is dollar here you can say car.brand 
color is dollar what you can say car dot color right price is dollar car dot price and you can call that function anytime car dot calc insurance something like this object you have created in the js remember that this is nothing but the object is you can create an object in the js in another way also there are different different approaches this is a literal notation object literal notation is this this is nothing but what object literal notation right so console.log you have called this and something like this object we have created nothing but what object is right now what you can say another thing about this is classes and the objects classes how do you define the class in the javascript right before going to that topic i would like to cover something called as what you can say functional programming very important aspect of the javascript that you should know if you want to learn the angular is a functional programming so what i'll do let me create the new file and you can say functional programming dot js functional programming dot js now what exactly functional programming means if your programming language supports these three things see if this is a variable let fn 1 is equals to fn1 is equals to one function i am assigning the function to the variables your programming language is functional in nature right if functions are assigned to the variable programming language is functional in nature second thing if functions can be passed as a parameter see fn param fn param is another function and to that function i am passing one more function as parameter right i can say cbfn callback function now see in the javascript there are no types you don't need to worry about what types javascript is untyped programming language but the programming languages like statically typed one is nothing but typescript which would be having some type here right but presently there is a no type you have given just variable over here cbfn so fn param is accepting one parameter called as cbfn right so second thing so i'll write functions can be assigned to the variables achieved functions can be passed as parameter and third thing functions can be returned as another function from the another function see return another function one function can be assigned to the variable function 
can be passed as parameter and then function can be returned as another function now here you can say functions can be returned from another function if your programming language does these three things your programming language is functional in the nature now see if you are assigning one function to the variable what is the role of this variable this variable is the holding that type of memory which is nothing but what the function is this function is holding the memory of the function sorry this variable is holding the memory of the function so this variable can be used for function invocation here you can say invocation here you have invoked this function remember that which function you have invoked by means of this variable this function so I can write this like this now you have passed one function as parameter to this function means whenever you are going to call this function you need to pass this function also see how fn param and here I need to pass what function see function has been passed as parameter and how where you are going to call this much function you can call this much remember that this would be this scenario this is fn1 is variable which is holding the function cbfn is a variable which is holding reference to this function means you need to use this variable to invoke this function how you can see cbfn cbfn when you call cbfn this function would be getting invoked are you getting it or not so in the functional programming functions can be passed as parameter so here whenever you call this function you need to pass this function right which means that this is a variable which is pointing to this function means you can use this variable to call this function like this analogy okay now one function is returning another function one function is returning another function now see let fn outer is equals to right or sorry function inner is equals to fn rt now what is the return type of fn rt fn rt is going to return this function again this is returning what one function that has been holding inside one variable means if you want to invoke this function you need to use this variable right now this fnrt is pointing to one function which is nothing but this because you have called this function over here what is the return type of this function return type of this function is this function what i'm saying return type of this function is nothing but what this function means whenever you invoke this function you will immediately get this function you have stored this function into fn inner right and if you want to invoke this function you need to use variable fn inner so this line will invoke this function functional programming functional programming very important aspect while you can use 
the lambdas also how how do you define the lambdas right so this line can be written something this fn1 is equals to the lambda something like this mt1 right still you can call fn1 not an issue same variable i am using rather you can create a separate variable let fn1 lmd and here you can say fn1 lmd lambda okay same here you can pass lambda also fn prm and over here you can pass what lambda is a function representation this lambda so these two lines are exactly equal right there is no difference in these two lines right then you can say instead of returning you can write this function in this manner function fn rt sorry rt lmd lambda would be returning the lambda like this so these two functions are exactly equal these two just representation is different so this is represented in the traditional functions this is represented in what lambda functions right even this these two lines can be combined to one line you can say fn rt right this is the first function call and this is a second function call immediately so this one is going to return you one function so this much is going to return you what this function and immediately you invoked over there so these two lines is equals to this one line some advancements functional programming okay so please go through this much code i'll push immediately 